How many people would like to have free wood for their woodworking builds? Hello everyone, Colin Kanad here for Woodwork Web. Today I'm going to talk about pallet furniture and pallet projects. Now, if any of you have ever used pallets, you'll know that all around the world there are free pallets everywhere. But there's a few catches and that's what I want to talk to you about today. And what the problems with pallet furniture was that, um, first of all, there was a lot of wood waste. Uh, there was a big cost of acquisition, so going out and getting the pallets, and not every pallet is free. Usually if they're spray painted or if they've got labels on them, you shouldn't be taking them because they're being returned to a manufacturer. So you can't just go out and get any old pallets anywhere. You really need to ask for permission. Uh, we also found that the disassembly, there was a big cost in the disassembly, even after we streamlined it. And the final thing was that uh, pallets are very hard on particularly jointers and planers and that's because there's always ground in dirt and rocks and little pebbles and it gouges and dulls blades very quickly even saw blades uh, it does very quickly so but today I'm going to show you what we discovered was the quickest and easiest way of disassembling pallets this is one of the pallets that we're going to be disassembling and what we discovered was that in taking these apart rather than trying to pull these nails out the best thing to do is to take the bottom off so I've got this this is the bottom the top is down here we're going to deal with that in a minute but what I'm going to do in a minute here I'm going to run the circular saw and I'm going to make cuts on each side of the nails on both sides so that these center parts will just fall out then we'll flip it over and we'll show you what we're going to do on the top side. Before we get started cutting, there's one thing I want to show you that's very important with circular saws. And this is the, the new way. In, in the old days, what we used to do is we used to take the saws and, and they would sit like this all the way down at the bottom. We don't do that anymore. Now we do the same thing we do on the table saw. We set the blade at the height that is about a half tooth above the material that we're cutting. And for cutting pallets, this is really important for two reasons. I'm just going to lock that. For two reasons. One reason is it's safer. Now, you can imagine if you still get a little bit of kickback when you do this, but when you, even if you get kickback, you know, you've only got this much blade. There isn't four inches of blade, uh, so it's a lot safer. You get a better cut, and particularly for cutting pallets, when you're cutting, you're just barely cutting this wood here, so you're not going to gouge this one too much in case you want to use these two by fours, but also it helps you to navigate because when you have just a little bit of blade, that that skill saw, there's a little bit of wiggle room here when the blade is all the way down and it's deep into the wood, it can only run straight. You can barely, there's really no movement like this, but when you only have a little bit of wood that you're cutting like this, you can actually move that a tiny bit uh, so that if you've got a nail in the way, you can actually move that a little bit to get around it. So let's go ahead now and uh, get cutting on this back of this pallet. Now one time I used to draw lines down here, but I don't even do that anymore. I just do this by freehand.
Now you saw the two end pieces fall off, that side and this side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these boards and I'm going to work them back and forth just enough to get a pry bar underneath. So that's the next thing that I'm going to do. And now that I've got most of them loose enough, I can pry them up in the middle. And because I do that, I can actually get some fairly long boards. And they tend, these boards tend to crack less in the middle. If we tried to do this on the end, they'll often splinter and break. But in the middle, they seem to be a little bit more sturdy. So there's all the wood that we collected off that pallet. Um, that's a, a nice stack of wood that you could now use to make all sorts of different builds that you might. Well, that's our look at disassembling a pallet. Uh, that's just the way I do it. What I found works the, the quickest and the easiest for me. Other people may have other methods uh, and I'd be interested to hear what those are too. As always, we ask you if you like what we're doing, we ask you to subscribe to our channel and there's a subscribe button right after this. Uh, we also ask you to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and don't forget to stay tuned because we're going to be doing some it's uh, making some builds with some of this in upcoming videos. So I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.